are you getting married soon? Who should be making decisions on your event? My name is Mox Devera and I am a professional host. And here are five reasons why you should be in control of decision making on your wedding day. Number one, you paid for it. Your money, your decisions. Who you want to attend your event are the ones who should be there. Mom and dad, Tito or Sir Titas may want someone to say something or perform that is not part of the program. If anyone insists on something as a gift, there should be no strings attached. It's your decision to have them or not. Number two, make sure things are properly communicated. Sometimes guests complain because they don't understand what goes on in the background why they have to wait while cocktails are going on, why they can't enter the venue just yet. Most of the time, they blame event coordinators, but it's not their fault why it's taking too long. So make sure that they understand the wait time so that they don't blame the suppliers. To also paint you a picture, after the ceremony, the bride and the groom gets another session with the photo and the video team. They go around and take extra footage for the same day edit video. After that, they get taken to an empty ballroom shoot where there are no guests inside and it's just the bride and the groom having a moment for the photo and the video team. Now, after that, they will be taken to a holding room where they will be having some snacks or light dinner because they haven't eaten the whole day. The bride also gets a second look and gets retouched. These are some of the reasons why it takes a while between the ceremony and the reception program. Number three. Parents or the elders may want something. The celebrants might disagree on these things. Some of the reasons why they do this is they are waiting. They are hungry or they are just simply bored and nothing is happening. They should be attended to, no doubt. But all decisions should be coursed through the client celebrants and your guests should also be aware of that. Make sure that these information are delegated properly so that the coordinators will take these concerns but the clients will still decide. Number four, it's just plainly rude to decide without the client's consent. Suppliers fear of the guests getting disappointed, leading to the client's disappointment. So they panic on who to please first. Is it the guests or the client? Make sure to always please your client first. As a supplier, your guests may not like your work, but your client chose you. So always consult your client for the decisions and make sure you handle the concerns carefully and exhaust all possible solutions. Don't be afraid to tell the guests that this is your client's decision and order. Number five, be in control so you get what you want and how you want it. Because there can be more than one chef in the kitchen. So from one top leader, it branches down to lower positions for proper delegation. So make sure that you delegate it to your suppliers properly and define their roles. If you trust them enough to make good decisions, they will give you an event that you won't have to worry about anything. So for your next event, get a host that knows how to handle these type of situations. I got you. Let's talk soon. If you have any questions or tips that you want me to share, place it on the comment section and we'll talk about it.